Welcome back to the Thursday Download. I'm your host, Rin Shai Four. This week's featured download is the VLC Media Player. It can be downloaded from www.videoland.org backslash VLC. I'm going to sh walk you through a quick download of the product and show you a couple of the key features. As you can see from the download, it's only 17 megabytes and does not take that down long to download at all. I chose to download this from Secured Servers Network in the United States because I've always had the most reliable download from there. There's absolutely no spyware, adware, viruses, or any type of malicious software in this download. This is a very simplistic media player that allows you to play a wide variety of formats, some of which include MP4, AVI, OGG, ACC, MP3, and many, many others. See their site for more details. The best thing about this media player is that it doesn't require you to download codecs. You know what codecs are. They're those little annoying files that Windows Media Player always asks you to download every time you want to watch a different kind of media. Well, say goodbye to those. I've been using this media player for a couple months with no problems at all, and it's by far one of the most reliable programs I've ever used. And as you can see, now that the download is complete, I'm going to show you the install of it. I currently had this already installed, so it wants to remove the previous installation. There's all the files. There are quite a bit of files, but it's well worth it. And it went that quick. And now it's going to actually install the new version here, which just came out days ago, as I was alerted to. And we're going to go ahead and install it. And the install goes, it goes smoothly. It doesn't take very long at all. Also, when it's done, it doesn't require you to restart your computer. Oh, and in case you were wondering, it is available for Mac and for Windows 7, as well as Linux. I currently use Vista, and I have it installed on there, and it works great. I've also seen it run on Windows XP, and I've also seen it run on uh, I believe it was Windows 98, but I'm not sure. I think that's what it was. Anyway, we're going to complete the, uh, the little thing here. It just basically asks you small question, you just answer that, click on it, click OK, and here's the tiny little player. I'm going to show you a couple examples of files being played in the program. I'm going to apologize in advance for the fact that there's no sound because I accidentally cut it out. It plays uh, very, very well for video. I mean, it makes the quality of these videos look absolutely amazing and the the sound is great as well I mean, even with laptop speakers I mean you're gonna get great sound out of this player and uh, it doesn't doesn't take very long to buffer or anything like that so you know it may take a couple seconds to load every now and then XPVD but uh, I've not really had any problems every now and then if you have a DVD though that has a really uh, big main menu screen then it may get a little picky with that and actually pixelate a little bit I've had that problem but uh, I haven't tried it in this new version yet so I'm gonna try that out tonight and see how that works as you can see there I opened up file it's an mp4 file the first one I opened up was a, a wave file and so you weren't able to hear that but it played it and then that was an AVI file and it played and if you click the little button it goes into full screen very very easily and you can just double click and it pretty much goes back to regular there's the playlist you can add items to your playlist there and you can play things from your playlist it has a lot of uh, options for editing 
your uh, audio and video effects. I've not really messed with those yet, but I've seen some neat posted on their website and around the uh, internet. Uh, there are a lot of uh, different options under there. Uh, if you've used them or going to use them, let me know, and because I'd really like to know how they work, because I haven't really taken the time to figure that out yet. It's, I mean, it's very simple. It just has a couple buttons down there, and as you can see, there's plenty of ways to import media. You can just open the file, open a folder, open a directory. Uh, you can import it uh, several different ways. You can also watch streaming media on this. I've actually watched streaming media on this, and it, it works very well. No problems with buffering or anything like that. And then there's the different other options. And you can also view the codec information under that one. It does use codecs, it's just they're already pretty much pre-installed into the program itself, so you don't have to download them and you don't have to worry about not having it. Plus you can increase the volume there, as you can see, and mute it very easily. Increase the volume past 100%. The buttons that I was just pointing to are the slow, slow down and speed up. And then you've got, you know, the regular play and stop, such, and skip. Uh, and the great thing is you can also use subtitles for this. I mean, that's just amazing. I can't tell you enough how much I really like this player, and I hope you download it. I hope you enjoy it, and tell me what you think. Don't forget to come back next week for another Thursday download. Thanks for watching.